afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers softball. It is Monday, May 21st, 2018, and it is the Hopkinton Hillers versus the Norton Lancers. Tom Nappy and Larry Sacklad on the call. Hopkinton 9 and 4 on the season. Norton is 13 and 1 as the first batter of the day steps up to the plate. It's Destiny McGrath to face the pitcher, Emily Whalen, as she puts this one in the air, and it is caught by the shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre, one away. Let's take you through the Norton Lancers lineup. Destiny McGrath just let off and flew out. Alexandra Florentino, the shortstop, coming up now. Stefanoski, the third baseman, batting third. Olivia Peterson, the first baseman, hitting cleanup as that pitch down low. Nicole Granger, the catcher, hitting fifth. Kelly Nelson, the pitcher, hitting sixth. Madison Coria, the center fielder, hitting seventh. Janet Jolly, the right fielder, hitting eighth. And Olivia Menyo, the second baseman, hitting ninth. And Larry, why don't you take us through the Hillers defense? I'll be glad to after this next pitch. 2 0 count. 3 0. We have Emma Murphy playing third base, Alyssa McIntyre at short. Krista McCluskey at second. Bella Anzi at first. Left to right, Jordan Chevry. Katie Hawley in center field. Heather Sivo in right. Emily Whalen on the mound. And Julian Cedia behind the plate. Temperature is 75 and Mostly sunny. A beautiful day for softball. As the count is now filled up on Florentino. Emily Whalen set to deliver. This is hit in the air left side and it is over the head of the left fielder but foul. She gave that one a ride. I don't know what the dimensions here, whether it's 200 down the line. 195. 195 down the line, I'm told. That went about 190. She certainly did. As she awaits the full count pitch. Puts this one in the air, left side, out of play. Alexandra Florentino, a senior hitting a 440 on the season. 22 for 50 overall, 12 runs scored. Or excuse me, 15 runs scored, six driven in. One of the key offensive players on Norton. Left side, foul. It's her third or fourth foul ball already. Good battle here between Emily Whalen and one of the best hitters in the TVL and Alexandra Florentino. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Bob Hamilton on camera for today's action. As this is lined up the left side, bobbled by the shortstop, throw to first, not in time. Short hop for Alyssa McIntyre. Alexandra Florentino reaches on the error. That'll bring up Stefanoski. Do I have her first name right as Stephanie? Yep. Last name Noski? You got it. As Cedia threatens to throw down the line, Florentino leading off the bag. Stephanie Noski also great with the bat. 395 batting average, 17 for 43 overall. 13 runs scored, 16 driven in. Over to short, bobbled once again, throw to second for one, and they will get the lead runner. So Stefanoski reaches on the six to four force out. Two away. Heather Sivo has to be on the ball if Jillian Cedia wants to throw behind the runner. An overthrow, the runner would get third base. Olivia Peterson now coming up to the plate. Another great hitter, 455 batting average. 20 for 44 overall. And she puts this one foul. She showed bunt and pulled back. 15 runs scored, 17 driven in. I wasn't sure that one is. I just heard uh, watch out. <laughs> oh, and one on the cleanup hitter. And she gives this one a whack in the left field. That's going to drop down for a hit. And the runner from second going to continue on as Jordan Chevelle has some trouble with it. One run is in for the Norton Lancers. Olivia Peterson safely aboard with the base hit, advances the second on the throw in. And Stefanoski comes around for the first Norton Lancers run. Would you give her a single with an error on uh, Jordan Chevry? That ball was sizzled down there. I 
definitely give an error to the left fielder after the hit. That's a second Hopkinton error already today. With Nelson on the mound today, they can't afford many errors today. They certainly can't. Nicole Granger, the catcher in the batter's box and puts this one foul up the left side. This Norton team, they could really hit the ball, Larry. A 388 team batting average. That's some raking. Yep. They're at the top of the TVL with a 13 and one record. Cole Granger, a 439 batting average on the season. 13 runs scored, 14 driven in. That pitch down low. Nice block by Cedia. Line up and the pitch from Whalen. And that's foul up the left side. One and two. Norton hitters seem very anxious to get at Whalen out in front of most of the pitches. Well, with the amount of great hitters on this Lancers team, they certainly like to be aggressive with the bat. And she puts this one in the left field, and that is going to drop. Another Norton Lancers run is going to score, and Granger is safely aboard over at second base. And Larry, I didn't quite see if uh, Chevery uh, fumbled that one or if it just got by her. Uh, was that e an error or a hit? E7. The official scorer calls it E7. All right. It's Granger aboard on the error. Third Hiller's error already. You got a Very pinch rare runner. mistakes. And we will indeed have a pinch runner. Coming out to pinch run, it's going to be Sophia Knopf. Rough inning of defense for the Hillers as this one's driven into center field to the fence. That is gone. A Norton Lancers two-run homer. And just like that, it is a 4-0 game. Kelly Nelson, the pitcher, goes yard. Not only can she pitch, but she can certainly hit. I don't know why she's hitting six then, but I don't make up the lineup. It's Kelly Nelson's first home run of the season. With all the media in attendance today. Yep. She was hitting a 308 coming into this game. Nine runs scored, nine driven in. Make that 11 driven in. A two run homer. Scores the pinch runner for Nicole Granger, Sophia Knopf, and of course Kelly Nelson. On the ground by Madison Coria. The throw from short, and they got her. Six to three for out number three, but not before the Norton Lancers plate four. We head to the bottom of the first. Hillers trailing 4-0 on HCAM. Heading to the bottom of the first, a 4-0 Norton Lancers lead after a four-run top of the first. Let's take a look at the Hillers batting order. Emily Whalen, the pitcher, will start things off. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, batting second. Katie Holly, the center fielder, batting third. Emma Murphy hitting cleanup and playing third base. Jill Cedia batting fifth and catching. Bella Ansi, the first baseman, batting sixth. Jordan Chevery, the left fielder, is batting seventh. Tara Kester, the designated player, hitting eighth. And Kristen McCluskey, the second baseman, hitting ninth. And the flex right fielder is Heather Sivo. How about that Norton Lancers defense, Larry? All right, so we'll go around the horn here. Stephanie Noski at third base. Alexandria Frontino at short. Olivia Menyo, second base. Olivia Peterson at first. Destiny McGrath in left, Madison Correa in center, and we have number nine Jolly in right field. Kelly Nelson on the mound, Nicole Granger catching her today. First pitch down low from Kelly Nelson, who is 12 wins, one loss, a .57 ERA. One of the best pitchers in this state in Kelly Nelson, her fourth year starting for the Norton Lancers. She started 13 out of 14 games and has pitched nine shutouts. Look at Menyo, the second baseman, parallel with the rubber. I've never seen a defensive alignment like that, but they're suspecting Emily Whalen to bunt. Now she's got two strikes on her, so whether she'll make that attempt again, I don't know. One hand, two count on Whalen, who's hitting a 444 this season, 16 for 36, seven runs scored. Four driven in. 
That one's up high, two and two. That was just a little slip. It happens to the best of them. I don't know how many of these Hopkins and hitters have faced her. Certainly the seniors have, and, and the juniors have, or the senior has, and the juniors have. Emily Whalen certainly has. Check swing there, strike three. Actually, she couldn't hold up on the check swing, and that'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop. I spent the weekend, Tom, watching some college girls softball on the E channel there. It's excellent. It's the, was a, the big part of the uh, season for college. Down in Oklahoma City. 1-0, one 1-1. Oh, one one. Alyssa McIntyre, a sophomore, a 345 on the season. Six runs scored, three driven in. And one upstairs. Did Nelson pitch against the Hillers when they went down? That's fouled away. Two and two. It's a moral victory right there. She did. Foul ball. Ended up getting a victory against the Hillers earlier this season. Now she has in most of her starts throughout her high school career. That one's fouled away. Ooh, working Nelson's pitch, pitch count up here. Yeah, some good battles. This is the part of the order where Nelson could have the most trouble against the Hillers. Wind up on the pitch. And there's strike three. Strikeout number two. Good and battle by Alyssa. I'll bring up Katie Holly. Katie Holly having a great season at the plate, a 429 overall. 15 runs scored, seven driven in. And she squares the bunt here. And swings away, foul. I wonder who their relief pitcher is, if they have if they have a need of relief pitcher. Well, they have uh, they actually had um, Sophia Knopf start a game. That one's fouled away. 0-2. She ended up getting a victory. Kelly Nelson doesn't need to pad her stats anymore. She knows where she's going to school next year. Well, Norton, uh, they ran into some troubles with the weather. They ended up having a crowded schedule for the last couple of weeks. As Kelly Nelson strikes out the side, it's a 4-0 Norton lead as we head to the top of the second on HCAM. Set for the top of the second inning, a 4-0 Norton Lancers lead, due up 8-9-1. Janet Jolly, the right fielder. Olivia Menio, the second baseman, and Destiny McGrath, the left fielder for the Norton Lancers. Emily Whalen out there for another inning of work. Four runs scored for the Lancers in the first inning, but I think only about one of those runs was earned. I was keeping score. One and run. And there we go. As this is up the left side, that's going to trickle into left field. And it's a leadoff single for Jolly. I'll bring up Olivia Menyo, the second baseman. They haven't got any cheap hits yet, Norton. Everything's been a line drive. They have been making. Very good contact as that one's fouled up the left side. Olivia Menyo, a sophomore, 265 batting average. Six runs scored, four driven in. Whalen delivers, it's a bunt. Slow roller up the middle, throw to first in time for one. And now the lead runner gonna head over to third. Showing off the wheels is Janet Jolly. And Olivia Menio gets the job done. Kristen McCluskey made a great dig at first base from Emma Murphy, covering for Bella Onzi. That'll bring up the leadoff hitter, Destiny McGrath, who lined out her last time up. And there's a strike. Dusty McGrath, a freshman. At a 432 batting average on the season, 19 for 44 overall, 16 runs scored, 13 driven in. And she puts this one in the air over to right center, and that is gone. 
the second home run of the day for the Norton Lancers. And it's a 6-0 Lancers lead. All Norton so far today. They've been here before, so well, they should know what it's like to have been here before. I don't know whether they're running up the score or what. That'll bring up Alexandra Florentino, the shortstop. Reached on an error her last time up. Well, if this keeps up, it'll be a short one here today. Well, I hope Norton's got a little class and they don't run it up. Because you know how that ticks me off. All right, hey, you play to win. This is high school. This is not college. That is up the middle, and that'll get in. I think Coach Soderberg has to look at the first time through and decide whether he's going to leave Emily out there. I'll bring up Stephanie Noski. Emily Whalen's had a pretty good season on the mound leading into today. Four and one, 417 ERA, nine games started. This Lancers team, just a very good lineup. And if you don't have it, you're going to have some struggles. There's a called strike there, Tom. What do you know? That one is fouled away. 0 oh 2. One out, two in on a two run homer from Desi McGrath. Runner on for Norton. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Two aboard with one out. Katie Hawley throws in behind the runner, but she did not make a turn, so everyone's safe. We'll bring up Olivia Peterson with two on, one out. And she's ready to go. Whalen deals, there's a strike. A tough break in the first inning for the Hillers. Three errors extended the inning and allowed Norton to play three more runs. That one down low. Nice block by Jillian. What I mean by running up the score is taking extra bases when you really don't need to. Right. Whalen deals, there's a strike, one and two. You've already put a six spot on the board, you have an overpowering all-state pitcher. And that is a strikeout, gets away from Cedia to throw up in time, but both runners on base will advance. Well, first base was occupied, so she didn't have to throw down a first base. I don't believe. Runners advanced. We'll bring up Nicole Granger, the catcher. She also reached on an error her last time up. That one down low. Well, in set to deliver the 1 0. Absolutely beautiful day here for softball as this one's hit in the air, fair territory and caught by the shortstop for the third out, but not before the Lancers play two more runs. It's a six to nothing Norton lead as we head to the bottom of the second on H cam. Bottom of the second inning due up for the Hillers, four, five and six. Emma Murphy, Jill Cedia, Bella Ansi. Norton Lancers last season went all the way to the state semifinals and ended up losing to Drake it. A great battle, four to nothing final in that one. Of course, Kelly Nelson in her senior year hoping to take the Lancers the distance. Norton ended their season last year with 25 wins, two losses. And actually that semifinals game went 13 innings as well. Maybe their fate might be like Berkeley and their field hockey team who had two males on their team scored about 60 goals between them. They were running the score up on everybody and they ultimately got defeated. The one, two. There's strike three. Fourth strikeout of the day for Kelly Nelson. Seems like the Hiller girls have holes in their bat today against Kelly Nelson. 
Just about any team has holes in their bat against Kelly Nelson. <laughs> That'll bring up Jill Cedia, the catcher. Well, this is power against power here. She has three home runs to her credit this year. That one low and inside. 353 batting average for the sophomore catcher. Five runs scored, 16 driven in. She is certainly a player to look forward to watching the next couple of seasons for the Hillers. Nelson deals, swinging strike. Ooh, she didn't get cheated on that one. I think Katie Hawley is warming up in the bullpen. One and one. Uh, six runs scoring in the first two innings. Wouldn't surprise me to see some relief for the Hillers. As now the count, one and two. There's strike three, got her looking. Fifth not, strikeout for Kelly Nelson. Not sure what the purpose of a mask is with Kelly Nelson pitching. I'll bring up Bella Ansi. And we'll have an infield discussion for the Lancers. I mean, what do they need to discuss? Not quite sure. Bill a 438 on the season. Seven runs scored, 14 driven in. She's been quite effective at the plate. And you think about the Hillers next season, they're young this year. Most of their roster is going to be returning. So the experience going to continue to build for this Hiller softball team the next couple of seasons. And they are just one win away from clinching a playoff spot. And there's a strike. I'm not sure whether Nelson's got anything more than fastball, like a drop or a riser or, or a curve. So I'm not behind the plate to pick up any of that. But seems like just fastball, fastball, fastball. For the most part, yep. Every now and then she'll throw in a breaking pitch. There's strike two, one and two. That high pitch is tough to lay off of. Looks big, looks fat. Strike three, she strikes out the side for the second straight time. A six to nothing lead for the Norton Lancers as we head to the top of the third on H Camp. Top of the third inning, a six nothing lead for the Norton Lancers due up is Kelly Nelson, Madison Coria, and Janet Jolly, six, seven, and eight for Lancers. Kelly Nelson hit a two run homer in the first inning to drive in pinch runner for Nicole Granger, Sophia Knopf. At the time, that made it a 4-0 ball game. Lancers added two more in the top of the second. That pitch low from Whalen. It's Kelly Nelson's first home run of the season in the first. She puts this one on the ground, picked up at third, throw to first, no problem. Five to three goes Nelson, one away. That'll bring up Madison Coria, the center fielder. Madison is hitting a 310 on the season in her junior year. 14 runs scored, 12 driven in. There's a strike. down low. Lancers leading the TVL in the batter's box with a 388 team average. She puts this one in the air over to left center and that is gone. It's a home run derby today for the Norton Lancers. A 7-0 lead, a solo shot for Madison Correa. I think Coach Soderberg got to do the right thing here. We'll bring up Janet Jolly, the right fielder. Can be a little deflating if you give up three dingers. Certainly can. Tough lineup to face, but it is good experience. This 
one's on the ground up the middle. That'll get through for a base hit. A one out single for Janet Jolly. And that'll bring up Olivia Menyo, the second baseman. Olivia sacrificed her last time up to advance Jolly to third on a great bunt. And she will put this one in the air and caught by Cedia. Nice play. Those balls right up in the air for the catcher with that backspin. Always tough. I'll bring up Destiny McGrath, the center fielder, for her third time today. She had a two-run homer in the second inning to score Janet Jolly. There's a strike. That was the second of three homers today for the Lancers. Whalen deals up the third base side foul. 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. She lifts this one up in the air and it's caught by the shortstop on the little bloop shot. Three down for the Lancers, but not before they plate another run. It's a seven nothing Norton lead as we head to the bottom of the third on H camp. Bottom of the third inning, seven, eight and nine for the Hillers. George Chevry steps in the left fielder. Takes that one inside one and oh. Jordan Chevry, Tara Kester and Kristen McCluskey do up for the Hillers. See if somebody took one on the toe, that would ruin a perfect game. Oh, did I say that? There's a strike. One and one. I've been known to kill a few no-hitters. <laughs> hey, when it's the uh, visiting team, no problem. One and two. Six strikeouts for Kelly Nelson. It's a perfect game so far. There's a ball, two and two. Good eye, good eye. Jordan Chevry hitting a 263 this season. And there's strike three. It's a little different than baseball, Tom. They don't throw the ball around the horn. Just get right back to the pitcher, step on the rubber and throw. Just keep, just keep it moving. Don't see any of the Hillers stepping out of the box either to disrupt what any, whatever rhythm Nelson's got working. Tara Kester takes strike one. Tara in her freshman season. 143 batting average. Swinging strike, 0 and 2. Brother Ryan playing up at varsity baseball. Controlling third base. Strike three. Eight up, eight down. And now Kristen McCluskey will step in. Strike one. The lefty awaits the pitch. Strike two. Kristen McCluskey having a pretty good season in her freshman year at the plate. 346 batting average heading into today's action. And once again, Kelly Nelson has struck out the side. Three up. Three down, it is a 7-0 Norton Lancers lead as we head to the top of the fourth on H camp. Top of the fourth inning, two, three, and four do up for the Norton Lancers. Emily Whalen out there for another inning of work. Alexandra Florentino, Stefanoski, Olivia Peterson do up. Dangerous part of the order for the Lancers. Strike one to Florentino. I think the weather report was wrong today, Tom. It said partly Partly sunny, I don't see anything that. This is lifted up over to left field and Chevry makes the catch, one away. Maybe our cameraman can find a cloud in the sky. <laughs> I certainly can't. We'll bring up Stepnoski. Yeah, an absolutely gorgeous day here at field uh, 13 for softball. Stepnoski, I thought that was her last name. That's fouled away. Annunciate, Tom, annunciate. 
Look at the roster, Larry. <laughs> I, yes, I did. So, Stefanoski, a senior, 395, heading into today's game. That was that one away. Going two. 13 runs scored, 16 driven in, heading into today's action. So far today, one for two. That one's up high. Just reached on a force out and a single. Ended up scoring a run in the first inning. That one low. Counts two and two. The 2 2 pitch upstairs. Full count on Noski. Hey, keep front hand. Protecting kid. Gets a piece of this one, and it's in foul territory. Is it catchable? No. Count remains full. Alyssa well, could have laid out for that one, face planted herself, but. A little risky. Certainly not an easy play to make. There was a comment from the peanut gallery over there. Hope the camera didn't pick that up. On the ground, left side, takes a couple hops, throw to first, and she's safe. Good speed up the line by Noski. A one out single, that'll bring up Olivia Peterson. Just hit slow enough where Emma Murphy couldn't pick it up and throw it. Just beat it out. Olivia Peterson, one for two today, had an RBI single in the first, which ended up scoring Steph Noski. Up the left side once again, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, a nice play by Emma Murphy. Five to three goes Peterson, and Noski advances the second. Play was right in front of Emma. She decided not to go to second for that. Chances of turning two were minimal. So she went over to first with the, the ball. Cole Granger steps in. And she lifts this one up over to left center. That's going to be trouble. That'll get down for a hit. Here comes Noski around to score. It's 8 0 Lancers. An RBI single for Nicole Granger. Bring up Kelly Nelson, the pitcher. We're gonna have a pinch runner here. Why? Why a pinch runner? We're gonna bring in Sophia Knopf to uh, get a little more speed on the base path. For what? I'm just saying. <laughs> this is high school softball. Kelly, no worries, yeah, kid. 0 one to Kelly Nelson, who had a two-run homer in the first inning. One for two today. She gets a piece of this one, hit high up in the air, over to right field, and it's caught by Heather Sivo, and that'll be the third out of the inning. To the bottom of the fourth we go. It's an eight nothing Norton Lancers lead on HCAM. Bottom of the fourth inning, an eight nothing lead for the Norton Lancers. Top of the order for the Hillers, Emily Whalen, Alyssa McIntyre, Katie Holly do up. It's Emily Whalen, the pitcher will step in to face Kelly Nelson. They're only at bat today, she struck out. Just like all the other Hillers hitters today. Nine strikeouts for Kelly Nelson. Another impressive performance. Strike one. Maybe they ought to play King in his court rules where they have a pitcher, catcher, and a right fielder, and that's all they need. And this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll drop down for a base hit. And you can kiss the no hitter goodbye. And the perfect game and everything else. <laughs> Alyssa McIntyre will step in. Oh, I'm real happy about that, I'll tell you. Good piece of hitting there by Emily Whalen. She thought about taking off, we'll head back to first. She really Might not stepped be. into that one too, some nice power. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think she should uh, take off on the catcher's arm though, that might put her out. The catcher threatens to throw down the line. One and one on McIntyre. 
Maybe Emily rattled her a little bit. Maybe Nelson not. Deals. There's a strike, one and two. Of course, Emily Whalen always a threat on the base paths. And I think what she's doing here is just trying to get in the head of the pitcher and catcher. As there is strike three, one away. I'll bring up Katie Holly, the center fielder. One out, one on. Fouled away. Maybe they've changed their batting approach. Gonna run up on her. Let's see if they can catch the pitch at the front of the plate. And now Whalen's gonna take off and she is gonna be safely aboard at second base. A stolen bag for Emily Whalen. Well, we can put another one in the book. One SB and one hit. Holly squares to bunt, fouls it away. That is the eighth stolen base of the season for Emily Whalen. She's eight for eight in steal attempts. She is the spark plug. There's strike three, two away. We'll bring up Emma Murphy, the third baseman. And the pitch. Inside, 1 0. Nelson deals. Fouled away. Good power displayed there by Emma Murphy. Their nickname's Popeye at home. She loves spinach, I understand. Ah. 316 batting average heading into today's action for Emma Murphy. 12 runs scored, nine driven in. They might need to put in a new ball that might have a dent in it from Emma's long foul ball. Well, if she hit that one straight, that might have cleared the fence. That one down low, and now Emily Whalen gonna take off her third, and she's gonna be safe. Good eye by Emily Whalen. Saw Nicole Granger struggle a little bit behind the plate and was able to take off. Hillers do want to run here, so if a pitch is in the dirt. There's a strike, two and two. I think Emily will take the risk. Fouled away, good battle. Just missed that one. Nelson deals, fouled away. Great battle between the cleanup hitter, Emma Murphy, and Kelly Nelson. The 2 2 pitch, fouled away. The battle continues on. Maybe Nelson will pull something out of her bag of tricks and get Emma with something. Nelson delivers. That's hit up in the air, out of play. I still don't get the mask thing, Tom. You get three players, a second baseman, a shortstop with a mask. Right, extra protection. And a third baseman, excuse me. I think uh, most players wear them nowadays. And there is a called strike for out number three. The Hillers do get a base hit, but the Norton Lancers lead eight to nothing as we head to the top of the fifth on H cam. Top of the fifth inning, due up for the Lancers, seven, eight, and nine, Madison Coria, Janet Jolly, and Olivia Menyo. New first baseman for the Hillers. We got Maddie Holden over at first base. Taking over for Bella Odsey. 
Killers were able to grab a base hit in the bottom of the fourth, courtesy of Emily Whalen. And she got all the way to third base. But after a good battle with Emma Murphy and Kelly Nelson, Nelson was able to strike out Murphy to end the inning. Madison Coria hit a home run her last time up in the third. One run homer. That was the third homer of the day for the Lancers. Whalen deals. There's a strike. So gone went the perfect game in that last inning. Yep. Good piece Say sayonara to that. At field 13 in Hopkinton. It's a beautiful sunny day. A 1 1 pitch. On the ground up the middle, picked up by Willian. A little flip to first, no problem, one away. I'll bring up Janet Jolly, the right fielder. She's two for two today. There are singles, scored a run in the second. One inside, one and zero. Oh. Whalen deals. That's fouled up the left side, one and one. Jordan Chevry's getting some work out there with all those foul balls down the left field line. One one pitch, hit in the air over to left field. Could be trouble, and that'll drop just in front of the reach of Chevery. A one out single for Janet Jolly. That'll bring up Olivia Menyo, the second baseman. Seems like Jolly's been on base all day. Yeah, it was her third hit today. That was just in front of Chevery, who really had a Come in far to try to make that play. I think they're playing the Lancer hitters deep or deeper than they normally would play. And this is a liner caught by the shortstop, throw to first, and the runner's back safely. Nicely done by Alyssa McIntyre. Two away, that'll bring up Destiny McGrath, leadoff hitter and center fielder. She had a home run in the second inning, a two-run blast. One for three today. That one inside, one and zero. Oh. The umpire could open up the strike zone a little bit here. Upstairs, two and zero. Oh. Norton has scored at least one run in every inning so far. But still looking for a run here in the fifth. There's a strike, two and one. Nice job of framing that pitch by Jillian Cedia. Kind of an art. If you watch Christian Vasquez, he probably gets five or six. That is foul up the right side, top of the batting cages. Strikes called that are actually balls. All with the umpire sees in the wrist. The 2-2 pitch upstairs. What are the Lancers record this year, Tom? 13 and one. And then one loss was two? Not quite sure. As that is picked up at short, throw to first. No problem. What a beauty. A six to three out to end the top of the fifth to the bottom of the inning we go. It's Norton leading Hopkinton, eight nothing on H cam. Bottom of the fifth inning, five, six, and seven due up for the Hillers. Jill Cedia, Bella Ansi, and Jordan Chevelle, Chevery, excuse me, catcher, first baseman, and left fielder. Face Kelly Nelson, who so far today has 12 strikeouts, given up one hit. That ruined her perfect game, I think. It did. 
1-0 count on Cedia. Nelson deals, fouled away. Still a little curious as to why Jillian is up in the front of the batter's box when a girl like this could throw some gas. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away, 1-2. and two. See, She's susceptible to an off-speed pitch being that far up in the box. Just doesn't have the time to catch up with her fastball. One two pitch. That one just outside. Two and two. Swinging strike out number one. Tough pitch to lay off of. But these softball pitchers, because they have no stress on their arm. They can throw three or four games in a day. We'll bring up Matty Holden, who came into the game for Bella Otzi last inning. First pitch a strike. It's got to be a little intimidating for the freshman. Good experience, though. One and one. Matty Holden, a junior, 222 on the season. Swing strike, one and two. That was a nice swing. Wouldn't that be great if she got a hit? And there's strike three, two away. That'll bring up Jordan Chevery. The umpire wasn't at all generous on that yeah, call. I thought she held up. Uh, I disagree with the ump on that one. I don't know whether he wants to go home or what the deal is, but I don't think... That was the right call. First base coach agrees with me. Nelson deals. 2-0. and There's a strike, 2-1. and one. I think this is the first time she's been behind a hitter. Two and two. Nelson able to battle back. And there is strike three that will retire the bottom of the fifth. To the top of the sixth we go. It's Norton leading Hopkinton eight nothing on H camp. Top of the sixth inning, due up for Norton, Alexandra Florentino, Stefanoski, and Olivia Peterson. Two, three, and four in the batting order. Eight nothing lead for the Lancers. They put up four runs in the first, two in the second, three in, uh, one in the third, one in the fourth. I think I'm gonna take an umpiring class and get patched this winter. That'd be great, love to see you behind the plate. I've got the gut for it. You gotta have a big belly, and I certainly do. We know the game would be called fairly if you're behind the plate. That's for Absolutely. Sure. Hometown discount for everybody. Alexandra Florentino is one for three today. Did reach on an error in the first. Singled in the second, flew out in the fourth. Two and no count. Emily has to be a little tired from throwing all those pitches. She's a trooper. That one low, 3-0. And, oh. and she's uh, gonna throw quite a few pitches early on in this game. A couple Norton Lancers rallies. Outfield playing deep. 3-0, there's a strike. That was a little generous, I think. The 3 1. Up the left side, past the reach, but foul. Good 
dive there by Emma Murphy trying to make a play. The umpire growled that one foul. Everybody in the neighborhood knew that was a foul ball. Full count pitch. Inside, and Florentino draws the walk. And we'll bring up Steph Noski, who's having a nice day at the plate. Two for three, singled a couple times, reached on a force out in the first, and scored a couple runs today. That one inside. One zero pitch, swinging strike. He's way ahead of him on that pitch. I don't know whether Emily f features anything but a fastball. Strike two. One and two. Two strikes. There's no chance for a bunt here. Or if there was a bunt, that would. Uh, she gets a piece of this one, lifts it over to right center, and it's dropped by Katie Holly. And now the lead runner going to advance to third, and that'll put runners on the corners with no outs. A rare mistake from Katie Holly in center field, and that'll bring up Olivia Peterson, the first baseman. That is certainly rare for her to miss a fly ball like that. No wind. That just fell right out of her glove. And this one is hit up the left side, foul. Olivia Peterson showing off the power there. Showing off the guns. Cleanup hitter is one for three today. Had an RBI single in the first and scored a run. And one down low, runner oh. from first is going to take off. And I don't, I don't know why that happened right there. She's safely board over at second, much to the dislike of Larry. You're up eight to nothing. You need that extra base. I just don't understand that at all. Up the middle, past the reach of the shortstop. Here comes one run, another run being waved around. It is ten nothing Norton. Two RBI single for Olivia Peterson. Back in my day, that would be known as Bush. Our cameraman, Rick Hamilton, is, gives me the wink, agrees. I'll bring him to Cole Granger. And this one is foul, just above us to the stands, 0 and 1. Cole Granger, one for three today, had an RBI single in the fourth. No outs for the Lancers, one on, two in. That one's foul. No and two. Kelly Nelson due up next. Line up and the pitch. And that one hit her. She'll get the free advance to first base. Olivia Peterson advances to second. And uh -huh. Kelly Nelson will step into the batter's box. You think she made an attempt to get out of the way with that, Tom? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it looks like we have a pinch hitter here. Let's see. And it looks like we will. Nobody out here, maybe. Norton is trying to put this one away so they can go home just a little bit early. There's a strike on one. Hey, deep breath here, kid. One and one. Swing strike there. One and two. That one down low, two and two. Deep 
front there, Jaden. Step and turn, Jaden. Molly Doyle at the plate. And there is strike three, got her looking. She pinched hit for Kelly Nelson, so you wonder if uh, Nelson's day is done. She still could come back into the game. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. As Madison Coria, the center fielder, steps in. One out for the Lancers, two on. She puts this one in the air over to right center, and it's dropped by Katie Holly, who is trying to make a catch on the slide, and that'll load up the bases. Well, that would have been a tough play to make, but Holly just unable to hold on to it. And that'll bring up Janet Jolly. Two tough plays out there for Katie Holly. We do have a high sun, though. Bases loaded for the Lancers. There's a strike. I don't think there's any threat to steal from third base. That one low. One and one. 11 hits on the day so far for the Lancers. This one's lifted up infield over to fly. left field and it's caught. Infield fly rule in effect. Two away. Now bring up Olivia Menyo. up in the pitch and that is over to the left side is it catchable yes Jordan Chevery is able to rush over and make the catch for the third out of the top of the sixth the Lancers plate two more it's a 10-0 Norton Lancers lead as we head to the bottom of the six on H cam bottom of the six due up for the Hillers eight nine and one Tara Kester Kristen McCluskey and Emily Whalen, a 10-0 Lancers lead as Kelly Nelson trying to go to the complete game. First pitch, a ball down low. Was well, she throwing about 35, 40 pitches so far today? Yeah, in that area. That's fouled away, one and one. One one pitch, and this is lined up the middle, and it is caught by the second baseman. One away. Kristen McCluskey will step in. She struck out in her only at bat today. I must say the girls are a lot more supportive of their teammates than the boys. Boys just sit there like lumps. The 1-0 pitch, there's a strike. The 1-1, strike two. Nelson deals, that's fouled away. That's a moral victory right there. The one, two. There's strike three, two away. A line out by Tara Kester. That was the first Hillers out. That wasn't a strikeout. That'll bring up Emily Whalen, who is one for two today. You'll have to inform our statistician as soon as you get back. There was a ball put in play. It wasn't an out. That's right. There's a strike. Excuse me, that was an out. Emily Whalen's base hit. The 0 1. Strike two. She's not changing her approach whatsoever. Yeah, getting that running start. Worked for her last time up. It's a piece of that one. That's foul. Well, you softball fans turn on that station with the E and the S. You can see a lot of college softball. 
really a lot of fun. That one down low, one and two. Kelly Nelson deals, down low. That's gonna to be tough, Tom, for the umpire to call, taking a look at a moving strike zone as they're moving up in the box. It is knees to letters. Right. Gets a piece of this one. That's a bloop shot over to left field and handled by the shortstop. A one, two, three, bottom of the sixth to the top of the seventh we go. Norton leading Hopkinton, 10-0 on H cam. Top of the seventh inning, top of the order for the Lancers. They are gonna start things off with a pinch hitter. Coming in for Destiny McGrath. And this is up the left side, gloved by the third baseman. Throw to first, no problem. And Christina Doon grounds out for the first out of the inning. She's just a, a sound fielder, Emma Murphy. I, I just really hope she either plays some club softball or walks on next year. I think she's going to Endicott. See if a bird is a mascot, I'm not sure what it is. Alexandra Florentino takes one inside, one and oh. New second baseman this inning for the Hillers. Sierra Hannigan is out there. Excuse me, Sienna Hannigan. That one upstairs. Sienna Harrigan is a freshman. Line up and the pitch upstairs. Well, Emily Whalen has earned some battle pay here. And that is going to draw the walk for Alexandra Florentino. One on, one out. Stefanoski, the third baseman, will come to the plate. There's a strike. The Hillers host Ashland on Thursday. For those of you at home that want to come down and watch a intra or intercity game, grudge game. That one upstairs. Will certainly be a good battle. Two and one. We'll have that game for you on H cam. Two one pitch. There's a strike. Stefanoski is two for four today. She has scored three runs. Puts this up the middle, glove by Whalen, throw to first, no problem. Florentino advances the second, two outs. That'll bring up Olivia Peterson, the first baseman. Where's the bunt, pulls it back, hits this one in the air, over to right field, and that drops, and that's gonna be a fair ball. Florentino around third, it's 11-0. Peterson is heading to third, the ball's still in center field. She's gonna try to score, the throw home is off the mark, and inside the park homer for Olivia Peterson, and that makes it a 12-0 game. So a two. RBI inside the park home run. And it's 12-0 Norton. Well, that means Norton still has to play seven. Any hope for a mercy just went down the tubes last inning. Cole Granger steps in. One and oh. Up the left side, picked up at third, throw to first. There is the third out. Not before the Lancers plate another couple runs. It is 12-0 as we head to the bottom of the seventh on H cam. 12-0 lead for the Norton Lancers. We play on to the bottom of the seventh. 
Do up for the Hillers, 2, 3, and 4. Alyssa McIntyre, Katie Holly, Emma Murphy. Well, certainly a rough game for the Hillers, but a good learning experience. You're facing one of the best pitchers in the state, so that gives you some valuable experience against elite pitching. And you'll get to uh, learn about some things that you need to work on defensively facing this great lineup that was able to make a whole lot of contact here today and cause havoc all around the field. And you won't get to face her next year. So that's a positive. That is true. And this is the last time we'll see Kelly Nelson at all, actually, since uh, Norton is Division Three in the playoffs. Hiller's, of course, D1, as that is fouled away. Just put her bat out there. I don't know what Coach Soderberg's pep talk was before the game. That one inside, one and two. We've had one runner by the Hillers to second base. Gets a piece of this one. That's going to drop in for a base hit. And there's a runner on with no outs for the Hillers. Alyssa McIntyre making some good contact. Second hit of the game for Hopkinton. Now Katie Holly will step in. There's strike one. Sixteen strikeouts for Kelly Nelson as that one's fouled away. There are a lot of dads and moms that are at their desk watching games we've broadcast in the past. And strike. Oh, she got a piece of it. She stays alive. Count remains 0-2. That's where you get those monstrous ratings. That's true. The 0-2 pitch fouled off. Well, that's why we do it. Absolutely. A whole lot of fun, and of course, we want to allow the uh, community to watch their hillers. Keep the sunscreen companies in business. Well, I'm hoping I get a nice tan today because I didn't wear any. Well, you didn't wear a hat. That's right. So you're definitely going to get a tan. The 0 2. Fouled off. You know what I would do if I were Coach Soderberg right now? I would send Alyssa McIntyre. I'm surprised she's not at least leading as this one is hit in the air over to left field. That'll drop in for a base hit. McIntyre around second, heading to third. She's going to be waved around and will score. It's a 12-1 game and a stand-up triple for Katie Holly. Great piece of hitting there. And there will be no shutout. Kelly Nelson today, or the Lancers. That'll bring up Emma Murphy, the third baseman. Still no outs in the inning for the Hillers. And it certainly seems Kelly Nelson getting a bit tired out there. As this is hit in the air, that's going to drop down into center field. Another Hillers run is going to come around. It's a 12-2 game. And now there's a crooked number on the scoreboard. A two spot. Well, you know, if you're up 12-0, and you see your starter starting to struggle, what's the point in leaving her out there? I think but if you send a runner when you're up 10 nothing, stealing, right? that's sort of uh, poetic justice, that they say? I think Norton might want to think about uh, getting a relief pitcher ready to go. As Jill Cedia will step in. Nice to see that crooked number up there. That's a thing of beauty. Still no outs in the inning. Runner on for the Hillers, two in. There's a strike, one and one. That one upstairs, one and one. Well, that's the benefit of being the home team. If the uh, away team gets enough runs, you'll get your at bat in the bottom of the inning. Swing strike, one and two. 
I was just noticing uh, Emma Murphy's cleats. They look like they're metal. And I thought softball players had to wear rubber cleats, so I'll have to check with the coach. That one up and high. I don't think they're metal. Well, they're shiny then. Nelson deals. And there is out number one. That'll bring up Maddie Holden. Came in the game last inning to play first base. She is 0 for 1 today. She came in a couple innings ago, actually. That one down low, 1 and 0. Well, the two runs that the Hillers were able to not get in this bottom of the seventh certainly helps the morale. That went inside. Umpire going to make Nelson work. Nelson deals upstairs. Three and oh. Well, Nelson is certainly getting more and more tired as this game goes on. She started having a little bit of a struggle in the sixth, but now in the seventh, having a bit of trouble with this Hillers lineup. It's all right. She didn't work hard in the first five innings. That's fouled away, full count. Jordan Chevery due up next. Hey, Maddie, hey, Maddie. Hey, battle here. There's a strike for out number two. I don't know whether Kelly Nelson was working on a strikeout record. There's a strike. Well, Emma Murphy, according to reliable sources, is wearing metal cleats. I bet they have the option. 0 and 2. That's good reporting on my part. That is. That's why they call well, me I'm Scoop. Sure, I'm <laughs> sure she wouldn't wear them if uh, she wasn't allowed to. Because this Hillers team, they don't break the rules. And that is out number three. That'll wrap this game up. The Norton Lancers defeat the Hopkinton Hillers by a final of 12 to two. The Hillers able to plate a couple runs in the bottom of the seventh. The Hillers score two runs on four hits, commit four errors. The Norton Lancers 12 runs on 12 hits and no errors. A terrific game pitched once again by Kelly Nelson as expected, 19 strikeouts on the day for the senior Norton Lancers pitcher, Kelly Nelson. The final score for the final time, the Norton Lancers defeat the Hopkinton Hillers by a final score of 12 to two. The Hillers fall to nine and five on the season. The Lancers now 14 and one. For Bob Hamilton on camera, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for joining us for Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.